Next up on the clock, I pick number three. It's the New York Jets, who are just ecstatic. They thought maybe they'd have to go Josh Allen, hopefully Baker Mayfield. And here they are picking at three, Josh Rosen. Josh Allen and Sam Darnold are still on the board, and they're able to go out and select Sam Darnold from USC. I think many people still consider him to have the highest ceiling in this year's draft class out of any quarterback, and the highest floor as well. Last year was not so good in 2017, 26 picks, 13 interceptions, but in 2016 as a freshman, 3,000 yards, 31 TDs, 9 picks. He has all the intangibles, NFL size, NFL IQ. Sometimes his decision-making needs to get, yeah. But still, he's going to a good scenario with the Jets. Because ultimately, the Jets get up McCown, who last year was actually pretty decent. I mean, there's a couple weeks that I picked up Josh McCown as kind of like a fantasy backup, kind of last-ditch effort guy. You have Teddy Bridgewater there on the one-year deal in case you don't want to throw Sam Darnold to the Wolves, which is not the case. I think Sam Darnold is going to get probably, you know, the uh, the Blake Bortles treatment. When Blake Bortles was drafted by the Jaguars, they had um, Chad Henney play for, like, most of the season, like, two-thirds of the season, and then you give him the back end. I think that's what it's got with Sam Darnold. Now, ultimately, the weapons they have on the Jets aren't the best. He doesn't have the best supporting cast. The draft's not done yet, but, I mean, at you know, giving up the assets that they did, they, you know, they're probably not really going to have a tight end. Their wide receivers are somewhat limited. You have a deep vet in Robbie Anderson, Anunwa, you know, Curse, you know, a couple guys. There's no, there's no premier players right now. On, on the offense. And their offensive line is nothing great. Their run game is kind of meh. They're in a rebuild. And why not just get a guy like Sam Darnold? I, I think just the more and more you look at the roster, especially the offense how it's shaped up, just redshirting him, letting him learn behind a guy like McDaniels who's been there, done that, can help, tr tr you know, kind of tutor him. Kind of like what Chase Daniel did in Philadelphia with Carson Wentz. That's a good scenario to have. I just don't know if you're the Jets, you really want to throw Sam Darnold to the Bulls when there's not that much help out there. Maybe, you know, you, you, you get a Sam Darnold now so that next year's free agency period, when they have all that salary cap, they're going to be able to bring in some guys that are intrigued about playing with this famed quarterback, one of the most polarizing quarterbacks, most popular quarterbacks coming out of college in quite some time. So he's, he's kind of a key piece to their future plans, not only because he is their franchise quarterback, but because of the other players that hopefully he'll be able to attract to the program. I mean, you know, ultimately I know a lot of Jet fans were pretty much set on getting Baker Mayfield. But I, I think most people did not expect, if you're a Jet fan in particular, that Sam Darnold was still going to be there. And I think if you ask Jet fans, they give their pick of any quarterback, Darnold probably will be there much more often than Baker Mayfield. So I think that this is, you know, it's a good, good pick. Ultimately, USC quarterbacks in general have not been great in the NFL. The last time a USC quarterback was taken by the Jets, Mr. Mark Sanchez did not work out so well. I mean, hey, he was the quarterback that got them to a couple playoffs, but that was ultimately their defense. But I think optimism should be very high here with Sam Darnold going forward. So let me know what you guys think about the Sam Darnold pick. My reaction is it's it's a great pick, and you're laughing if you're the Jets the fact that he was still there. Like the last time they had this good of a steal. I mean, they, they seem like they, the best players always falling to them. Like last year they got Jamal Adams. A couple years before that they got Leonard Williams, who somehow slipped all the way down there. And now they get Sam Darnold. So, uh, uh, great at taking advantage. Great at getting opportunities here are the Jets in the draft. And they should be pretty happy with the Sam Darnold pick. So, yeah, let me know, Jet fans, what you feel about your new franchise quarterback potentially. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys here on pick four. Will it be the Browns? Who knows?